Hello, my name's Craig Brownlee, Specialist Response Officer for CFA, and one of the projects that I've been working on is the development, construction, and now the deployment of the CFA's new field operations vehicles. These vehicles have been built as state-of-the-art vehicles with the, uh, the user in mind. So we built them so that they are very simple to operate. So arrival at the fire ground, the vehicle will level and stabilise, allowing a nice solid platform for the operators to work from. From there, we deploy our satellite dish. The satellite dish connects to the CFA network and allows the vehicle to operate basically anywhere in Victoria. This will now provide a solid, reliable link back into the CFA. That allows the flow of information efficiently between our LCFs, our local command facilities, our ICCs, and then into our state control centres as well. It's very important that we have this ability to have seamless uh, communication as uh, it, it provides that situation awareness to all levels of the command structure. We have a five kilowatt generator providing all the power, plus emergency backup systems as well. The vehicle is fitted with some advanced technology, uh, large plasma touchscreens, which work similar to an iPad to allow operators to use the EMAP product. We've deployed a new IPR, an Internet Protocol Radio Dispatch Console, which allows a very simple operation of our radio system via our PCs by the use of a digital dashboard management interface, or DDMI. That allows uh, the user to see and operate the technology that's on the vehicle. The other thing the digital dashboard allows us to do is to monitor our systems very simply. As part of the program, CFA have built seven new field operations vehicles and they're going to be deployed to Mildura, Bendigo, Ballarat, Moey South, Inverloch, Bansdale and Nillimbit Group in District 14. 